Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Spleef mini game. Now, this is an OG Minecraft mini game. One of my favourites. It's a ton of fun to play, and it's really easy to set up. There's a few different types, like Spleg and Bow Spleef, that you can set up if you want to. But this is just the standard one. And once you join the lobby like this, you have a leave button, and then in a few seconds, we are going to be teleported into the arena to play Spleef. So in five seconds we will get our shovel where we can destroy the snow beneath us. I'm making my other account fly so he doesn't just stay on the block too long and fall through. And in a normal spleef game you just want to destroy all the blocks typically beneath your opponent so you make them fall into the water or lava below. And the last one who is alive up here is going to win the game. So if I grab my other account and place him back on the snow and then just destroy the blocks beneath him he is going to fall into the water. Obviously you've got one life and that is the end of the game. So I've won, we've been teleported back to the lobby and that is how the game would work. Obviously if you've got loads of people, it'll be a ton of fun, loads of chaos. So let's go ahead and create a new arena. So the best way to do this is just with world edit, make a hole in the ground or make something fancy. The bottom layer needs to be either water or lava for this plugin to work. So I'm just gonna set this as water, just uh, one block high is fine. And then what we need is a layer of snow. You could probably do multiple layers if you want, but for this tutorial, I'm going to do one. So set that as snow block, and that is your arena created. Obviously, you can make it look a lot nicer than I did. So the first command we need to do is forward slash spleef create, followed by the arena name, and then we can choose the type of arena. So for normal, leave it blank. If you want spleg, obviously add spleg. If you want bow spleef, add bow at the end. So let's try that one. Once we've done that, we can do spleef help see all of the different commands. The first one we need to do is for slash spleef set spawn and then the arena. This is going to set the location you're teleported to after the game is finished. Now go into the middle of the arena and do set arena. This is going to be the location you're teleported to when the game starts. And then finally you can set a lobby which is optional, you don't have to do this. So for slash spleef set lobby and then obviously arena 1. And that is going to set all of the locations we need for the arena. We can also do set min and then arena one, two players, and then set max arena one. And let's go with four players, for example. Just set the min and max players for the game. And then to make it work, we need to do four slash spleef reload. And there we go, our arena is up and running. So now all we need to do is four slash spleef join and then the arena name. That's going to join me. I'm going to do the same thing with my other account and he is going to join the game as well. And then it's going to start in 30 seconds. So the game of bow spleef is about to start in a few seconds. We're teleported in. Here we are. So we get a bow and instead of snow there is TNT. So this is going to make it a little bit different um, as you can see. And it's the same principle. You want to destroy the blocks beneath your opponent to win the game. And then once it finishes, it resets the layer, and as you can see, it has respawned TNT instead of the snow. So next we're going to look at how to create a join sign. So here's one here. Pop a sign down, and it's a little bit complicated. You need a hyphen, an exclamation mark, an S, another exclamation mark, a hyphen. Your second and third line is your arena name, and then copy the first line to the fourth line. I know it looks really weird, but this is how you do it. And then once you've done that, if you right click, it will change. There we go. And we have created our own join sign. Then you can obviously right click to join. And that is how it works. So the last thing we're going to look at is how to create a hologram with the rankings on. Do spleef set hologram in the location you want it. And then spleef enable holographic ranking. And there we go. Our hologram has spawned and we can now see who has the most wins. So that is how you would set it up in game. Whether it's normal spleef, spleg, or bow spleef, there are lots of options, which is pretty cool. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SM Picnic control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. Obviously, the main one we want to look at is the config. So let's open this up, and in here, there isn't too much. Down at the bottom, it just lists all of your arenas and the settings and locations we set. Up at the top, we've got a few things. So do you want to broadcast a win, yes or no? Do you want lightning, holographic ranking, yes or no? Scoreboard, spectators, all of that good stuff. You can change the starting timer from 30 seconds to whatever time you want. The leave item is going to be the barrier. So there's a few things you can change, but obviously you don't have to change it if you don't want to. Then we have the spigot page. So it's working on 1.12 to 1.16. There is a ton of information on here. So loads of commands and permissions. These are the dependencies, so make sure you have these. 
otherwise you may have issues with the plugin. But if you need a server toaster, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.